Hey there, I'm in Lexington, Kentucky, and I am at the girlhood home of Mary Todd Lincoln, the wife of President Abraham Lincoln and the former First Lady. So this is a First Lady historic site. She was the daughter of a very prominent family here in Lexington, um, and the home is a museum, so we're gonna go check this out. I guess this year is Mary Todd Lincoln's 200th birthday. Being built in 1806, originally as an inn, this was a pretty nice building because this was the equivalent of the Wild West at the time. This is not the home she was born in. This is where she lived in her teenage years. She was actually born in a home a few blocks away on December 13th, 1818. It's where this historical marker is now, and that home was demolished. So this is the door where Mary Todd Lincoln and even Abraham Lincoln walk right out of down these very steps. Ah, the tour was full. I hated when museums do that. At this point I've seen most of these Lincoln Heritage Trail sites in Kentucky. Abraham and Mary did come from very different backgrounds, both born in Kentucky, there's Lexington, there's Hodgenville, where Lincoln was born. Uh, he was born in a log cabin, and she was born to one of the most prominent families in Lexington. In the back here is an old historical marker, her home from 1832 to 1839. They've got beautiful gardens on the back side of the home. All right, had to wait an hour, but we are on the next tour. This house was built in 1803 as an inn and tavern, and it was purchased by Robert Todd in 1832, and Mary lived here until 1839. The railing is original, so this was used by Mary Lincoln. Mary was the fourth of seven children of Robert and Elizabeth Todd. Robert was a banker and politician in the state legislature, so he was quite wealthy. That is the Todd Family Bible. When Mary was six, her mother died of childbirth, and that was the first of many traumatic events in her life. Robert married Elizabeth Humphreys two years later, and they had nine more children. Mary had a very rough relationship with her stepmother. This is the dining room. Mary lived with her sister Elizabeth Edwards in Springfield, Illinois, starting in 1839. Many don't know, but she was actually courted by Stephen Douglas before meeting Abraham Lincoln. Apparently when they met, Lincoln came up to her and said, Miss Todd, I want to dance with you in the worst way. That candelabrum belonged to Abraham and Mary Lincoln while at the White House. This porcelain belonged to Mary. And this fork and these spoons belonged to her. She became engaged to him later on, then they entered a period of separation, then finally got back together and got married in 1842. Abraham Lincoln did visit this home a few times with Mary. This is the back parlor. This really became a house divided in the Civil War. Five of her brothers and sisters supported the Union, while eight sided with the Confederacy. These are portraits of Mary's Confederate brother and half-brother killed in the Civil War. Her brother George and half-brothers Alexander, David, and Samuel were all in the Confederate Army. Samuel was killed at Shiloh and Alexander at Baton Rouge. This is inside the front parlor. The portrait of her was painted in 1864 while in the White House, and it is kind of somber.
Mary's daybed. That is original White House China designed by Mary. Now upstairs. This was the bedroom of Mary's father and stepmother. That is Robert's original desk. He also would have had Henry Clay as a guest in the home. An old engraving of a young Abraham Lincoln. This is a cloth fragment from Abraham and Mary's wedding in 1842. The Todds did own slaves at this home. Yes, the wife of Abraham Lincoln came from a slave-owning family. The Todds owned about five slaves from 1820 to 1849. Some members of the Todd family were in favor of gradual emancipation, which many Whigs, like the Todds, supported. She did find housekeeping and raising children hard without the support of slaves or servants in Springfield, like she was used to growing up here. This bed belonged to the Lincoln family. This cup would have been used by Tad or Willie Lincoln, two of Mary's children, it greatly upset her that only one of her four children survived to adulthood. An original John James Audubon illustration. This is related to her brother-in-law, Brigadier General Benjamin Helm, who was killed at Chickamauga. Afterwards, his wife and Mary's sister, Emily, refused to pledge loyalty to the Union, but Lincoln ordered her sent to Washington under his protection at the White House. Mary and Abraham did privately mourn for General Helm. This would have been Mary's bedroom, likely shared with another sister. Not sure why there's a crown on top of the bed. This desk may have been used by Mary, and the portrait is of Madame Mendel. Mary got sent to Madame Mendel's finishing school, which was French style, and this is why she ended up being very intelligent, witty, and political. That is an original playbill from Ford's Theater on April 14th, 1865, at which Abraham Lincoln would be assassinated, right next to Mary, holding her hand. This event was like a last straw to her mental state. She didn't attend any part of the funeral or burial. In the next decade, she developed some erratic behaviors and irrational fears. In 1875, her only surviving son, Robert, was at that point a prominent lawyer in Chicago, and he had her put on trial and sent to a private asylum. This is incredible. One of her mourning dresses from after the assassination of her husband. Also her fan, purse, and bonnet from that time. Mary was released three months later due to fear of damaging publicity for that asylum. After that, she had very little contact with Robert for the rest of her life. She lived in Springfield again, but spent a lot of time in France and Europe, where these relics are from. And she died in Springfield on July 15th, 1882. So that was the Mary Todd Lincoln Girlhood Home. Uh, that was a really great museum. It's very well preserved and they had some amazing artifacts related to uh, Mary Todd and Abraham Lincoln. Um, if you like Lincoln sites, I've been to a lot of them. So uh, go check out my videos on those. Uh, if you just like roadside attractions and museums in general, I have a lot of videos on those as well. So please go check those out um, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.